Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button or maybe leave a comment saying thanks. It really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and there is a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a projector um, by a company called Xbeauty. This is the box it comes in once you order it. Um, and then once you open it up, you're going to get all the parts and pieces. So first off, you are going to get the projector, which we're about to go over in detail. You will get the power cord to plug it in. You will get um, basically the AC power plugs if you have an old uh, cable connection. You're going to get a little bag with an HDMI cable if you want to hook it up that way. Then you are going to get a little user manual, but we're going to cover a lot of the details. And finally, you are going to get a remote control here, which takes a pair of batteries. Batteries are not included. Now, let's go over the projector because this is a really cool and unique projector from what I've seen. All right, so on the front here, you have the protective lens. You just pop that off. Uh, really easy to utilize. Um, right there is where it will pick up for the remote control. Um, on the bottom here, you have the little dial that you can spin to level out the projector if you like. Um, my only complaint on this projector is there is no center mount for a tripod, um, but that is not the end of the world. It does have four little rubber feet here in the corners to help keep it from sliding around. Now on the side here, you have the focus wheel. Um, so that way, once you have your distance set up, you can simply focus it. Down here, you have a little door. Just pull this out, and it has this nice little screen. whole purpose of this is to collect dust and gunk to keep it from getting into the fan of your projector. Now, this does projector does have an LED light. Um, it is super, super bright. Um, it is 700 uh, A. NSI brightness level. It also has a 15,000 to 1 contrast ratio. As far as the resolution, it is a 1080p projector, but it does support up to 4K devices. It has built into it um, both 5G and the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Um, so depending on your router, you should be set um, on that front. On the other side, you can see right here we have a USB port if you want to hook up a USB device for presentations, PowerPoint slides, etc. Then you have two HDMI ports. So these are if you want to hook up a DVD player or um, your phone via the HDMI cable or something like that. You have your AV input, you have an output for your headphones, and then you also have a spot for a micro SD card. So if you have a presentation or photos or something on an SD card and you want to go through them, you can plug them right in here. Now, on the back side, you have also a spot for the remote control. You have the speaker. It does have a built-in speaker, and to my surprise, uh, the speaker is not actually that bad. It sounds really, really well, but if you do want to hook up a pair of Bluetooth speakers, you can do that. It has Bluetooth in it, and you can do external Bluetooth speakers. Now, behind here is the little door, um, and that has a little um, kind of antenna. And what this is, is it's going to be the um, Android TV. So like I said at the top of the video, what makes this kind of unique is this has a built-in Android TV. So if you are uh, familiar with smart TVs, this has that. So you just hook up your Google account, or if you don't have one, you just sign up. You can download all the various apps like Amazon, Netflix, all that stuff. You can stream that content directly from the projector, which is super nice. You don't have to hook it up to any other devices. You can simply, like me, take this outside on a nice pool night or something like that and project on the side of the house and access your movies or TV shows or whatever, and listen to the built-in speakers or hook up a Bluetooth external speaker, etc. So that's a really, really nice feature that this projector has. Um, on the top here are all the controls, so you can manually control it from here, but I find it really easy to utilize the remote control. Because once again, because of that Android TV aspect, the remote control is really, really nice. So as you can see down there at the bottom, you have a bunch of quick access buttons that will automatically open those various apps. Um, you have your selection tools, your home button, quick mute. Uh, and then in the middle it even has the button for um, the Google Assistant. So you can press that and ask something like, hey, I want to watch XYZ TV show. And it'll bring up the options um, so that way you can watch that um, 
show that you're interested in. But overall, let's go ahead and show you the different menu settings so that way you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, so let's go over the device um, settings. You have your date and time. You have the language. If you use a keyboard layout, you can change that. You have your display and sound options, which is changing the screen resolution, which is basically preset for you. Then your screen position, whether you want to zoom in or zoom out. Then your HDMI connection cable, if you are utilizing that. Right now we are just hooked up to the Android built-in TV that it has. Um, and then the system sound itself. You also have the storage options that are in here. So this projector has a total of 4.6 gigabits versus of storage. And that's basically just gonna be used for the various app downloads. You have your home screen, your Google Assistant, your built-in Chromecast, screensaver options, energy saving options. So if you wanna put it to sleep, location, diagnosis, and um, some of the accessibility stuff. So it has lots of little features, just like you would with a smart television. So under the remote in accessories button, if you want, as you can see, the remote that comes with it is connected, but if you want to pair a Bluetooth speaker, you can do that simply by hitting this and then turning on your speaker. Okay, there you have it. Um, so overall, um, I'm a big fan of it. I really think it helps having that uh, built-in Android TV. It's all kind of right here in the projector. You don't have to fiddle around with extra devices. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market for a either a projector or a replacement or something like that, I think this one is totally worth checking out. I'm a big fan of it. Um, and that is basically it. If there's something that I didn't cover that you're curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.